You're with the Newsmakers, it's Politics Unplugged. This week we are with Labour's Ruth Dyson and National's Kate Wilkinson. Uh, the fire and brimstone issue of abortion has been a prominent matter in the headlines in the past seven days on a number of fronts. First of all, Family First has been foaming at the mouth over the latest stats that show the number of under 16 year olds procuring abortions has doubled uh, since 1990. And this uh, Conservative uh, Family Values organisation is particularly concerned about the law, which does not require parents to even be informed. Now, I know you support that, Ruth, but why should that remain as it is? Well, my understanding is that in most instances where a really young woman finds themselves pregnant, unplanned, um, not able to deal with it, that their parents actually are involved, and I do think that's the ideal situation. I, that, above all times, is when you'd most need the support of your parents, but unfortunately, some parents aren't supportive some are really vindictive, some are totally dysfunctional. And I really think that w when you've got a general practitioner and a young woman who both know the full circumstances, then they can take a sensible call. But my understanding is that it's in very rare events and probably understandable that parents are not involved. If you do have that crisis situation within a family, which is why the parents are not told, couldn't it be argued that, well, this is where the state needs to intervene even further and take that pregnant girl completely out of that family? If it's too much to ask to ensure the parents are told, it's obviously so toxic, take that whole girl completely out of that family unit's equation. Yeah, well, possibly they should have been removed from that environment some years before and may not have ended up in the situation that they're in. I, mm. I, I don't know anybody who thinks that a termination of a pregnancy and abortion is a good thing. Um, they, they are needed. The fact that we've got increasing numbers in younger women I think should be of major concern to everyone. Um, what I would like to see is far better emphasis on contraception advice that works. Mm ensuring that more younger women have self-respect and self-esteem so that they understand it's up to them to control their bodies and what happens to them in their future lives. I don't think we've got anywhere near the right approach in that regard. I don't think it's working. Just coming back to the under 16 year olds for a moment, um, correct me if I'm wrong, in 2004 National tried to overturn this law so that parents had to be in the loop um, as to these kinds of decisions. Is that still your view? Oh, I think it's a very complex and uh, issue, actually, abortion. And I'd have to say I, I, I agree with Ruth um, in a lot of what she said. Um, I also think, though, that uh, the father, where they can, should also be taking some responsibility. But I think it's it's actually a really important decision for that young girl to make. Mm. And, and I think that... Um, they, they have to be advised properly on the repercussions of it, on the, on the consequence of it, because I, I think it's such a serious decision that they have to make, and, and it should be made with as much help as possible, whether, and that, whether that's from family, uh, friends, and certainly the father. Do you think parents must be part of that? Uh, I, th I think that when you get some situations um, that Ruth was talking about, some toxic situations, they might, might do more harm than good. Uh, and I think it's it's difficult to say black and white, yes, they should, no, they shouldn't. See, middle New Zealand gets quite upset about this. No, mm. You would have noticed that. Right or wrong, a lot of parents take this as a personal affront, mm. this law. Mm. And the ones that do would have been involved in a discussion had their daughters mm. been in that situation. From all my understanding, that's, uh, you know, that's over years of trying to find out exactly what does happen mm. in these circumstances. GPs will tell you consistently that unless there's a really extreme reason, the, the parents will be involved. OK. Um, just one other abortion issue. Uh, Labour MP Steve Chadwick would like to see New Zealand's abortion laws liberalised, and she's been quoted as saying that essentially she would allow abortion on request up to 24 weeks into the pregnancy. Does that strike you as extreme or entirely OK? I'm not a health expert on that, so I actually don't know physically or emotionally the difference between 24 weeks and the status quo. Um, but I think that we have to be careful when you're talking about liberalising abortion, um, you've got to make sure that the, the right services are in place, that it's not so easy that it is just seen as a form of contraception because I think there are a lot of psychological, emotional, social consequences of those decisions mm. and I think that um, the the parties involved should be very well aware of those consequences before they make such a such an important decision. Quick comment Ruth? Well, I don't think Parliament is of a mind to make access to abortions um, easier 
for longer term pregnancies. I don't think that's the will of Parliament at the moment, certainly the understanding that I have. But I do think that abortion should be out of the justice system and moved entirely into the health system. It shouldn't be a justice issue in New Zealand. And I do think that the huge amount of money we put into certifying consultants is wasted. Okay. We, should, we should have options, we should have good advice and support available for the pregnant woman, but p putting five or eight hundred dollars into the hands of a certifying consultant for a less than ten minute consultation mm. is ridiculous in my view. You mentioned um, your um, desire to see more effective contraception promoted and, and supported. The fact that we had 2,000 women getting their third abortion last mm. year, would that suggest to you that it is being misused as a form of contraception? Uh, well, I don't know that the women themselves would see it that way. Um, a lot of women are in situations where they just cannot control their lives, and I don't understand that because I can control my life. But we have to accept that this happens and they should be supported to not get in that situation. One of the great things that's happened recently is Pharmac has just put out a discussion document on an implant which is a long-lasting contraceptive. Now for some of those women that would stop them getting pregnant the second time let alone the third time. I would really like to see that being available and accessible to more New Zealand women who need it. All right, um, we'll take a break. We'll move on to um, easier matters. Quite possibly, including Mr Bethune, the wildlife warrior, hero or hothead, that's to come along with some other matters. Do stay with us.